Ladies and gentlemen, you have just entered the greatest game of Madden 17. You are going to watch this year. And I said this by accident. So, we are all the way on the Saints in the A2Z series. If you guys are unfamiliar, what it is we do to the A2Z series, I play with each and every single team alphabetically in an online ranked match. And I also use that team-specific playbook so I can go on ahead and get familiar with every single team and their offensive playbook. And at the end, I have used all 32 teams' playbook so I can go on ahead and know which playbook I want to go on ahead and feel comfortable with. Now, the thing is, I've been using the Saints' playbook since the beta when the game came out early, early, early as we get beat over the top right there and he takes the early lead. So when I got to the Saints, even though their defense is buns, I'm like, that's great. I'm very familiar with this playbook. 99% of the times, I'm using a team's playbook for the first time. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Speaking of no idea what the hell I'm doing, I forgot to let go of the right trigger as I dive in. It's a boo-boo. I forgot to let go of the right trigger. And instead of sliding, I dive. And the very next play, he beats me over the top again. So just like that, blink of an eye, snap of a finger, I'm down 14-0. But it's like, you know what? It's okay. I know this playbook inside and out. I feel comfortable on offense. I know I can put up points with this playbook. I just need to not fumble. So we get ball at halftime. We're down two possessions. It's okay. Plenty of time in online rank match. We can make it up. So right here, third and one. We go to the run, and thankfully we break the tackle. If you guys are new here, because I'm expecting some new folks. This video better generate a bunch of views, man. You share it with everybody. This video is freaking amazing. Um... We use fourth down swagger tree, man. It means I use special teams on fourth down. I punt and kick field goals. It's a fumble. And another fumble. Another one. So back to back fumbles. I had two possessions. I fumbled twice. I'm down 14 to 0. It's not looking good, right? It's just not. I'm beyond frustrated right there. And uh, he decides to roll out, throw on the run with Andrew Luck. Very good play. Now. The Saints are obviously a heavily offensive-oriented team. I knew I was going to have a tough time stopping anybody with their very terrible defense. They can't press. As you see, T.Y. Hill being a press for another touchdown. They can't play zone. Their defense is just terrible. But their offense is great. I should be able to put up points with this offense. And so far, I'm not able to because I fumbled twice. So right here, we just throw really quickly to the flats. And we get ourselves a good gain of four yards. So, second and six right here, and a third fumble, and it's a scoop and score. I'm now down 28-0. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I was going to quit. I was going to pause and quit and give him the game. The only thing that stopped me from quitting was the fact that I'm using the Saints playbook. Literally, the only thing that stopped me from quitting is like, you know what? I've been using different teams' playbooks, and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm using it for the first time. I'm struggling inside these games. You know what? I've made it all the way to the Saints. I, I know this. Let me just let me just see what happens this drive. I was just going to see what happens this drive. Because, again, this is my playbook. As Cooks hits the outside and gets me in scoring range. Now, we're at the 11-yard line here. We decided to run the ball. Unfortunately, we didn't pick up that block on the outside. So, at this point, it's like, okay, fourth down swag is gone. Fourth downs, I need to score every single time I have the ball. I'm down four possessions. So here we go. We go underneath and we score. First time we score, right? It's a miracle. We didn't fumble that drive. Now, uh, there was a roughing the kicker uh, penalty. He gave me 15 yards, so I, I decided to squib. Once he recovered, I knew he wasn't going to get that many yards anyway. So uh, we're up 28-7, to 7, and now we need stops, right? So now he's going to try and chew clock, which he started to do. Understandable. Smart by him. He brought it down to the two-minute warning. He throws over the team. It's overthrown, and we get the pick. And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do we have a little bit of life here? Do we have a little bit of life? And this is this is the playbook I needed to try and come back down four scores. Drew Breezy, nine for nine, as he throws a hot one. He throws a dot over the middle. Minute 20 remaining. So right here, Drew Breezy standing in the pocket. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. We go underneath right there really quickly. And Drew Breezy is 10. No, excuse me, 11 for 11. We go to the wide receiver screen. Pick up the block on the outside. Stay on your feet, young fella. And we get the first down. 50 seconds remaining. Really quick drag route underneath the fleener. Unfortunately, we get six yards, so we no huddle. And then we throw across the middle for another touchdown, and we get ball back at half. So now we have an opportunity to potentially make it a one-score game. And that right there would, <coughs> would be amazing. 
Who would have thunk? Right here, I'm calling timeouts. I'm like, no, I want this ball back. I want this ball back. <coughs> Excuse me. Right here, he decides to run the ball on third and 19. And we call our final timeout of the half. Only 22 seconds remaining. So it's like, okay, let's see if maybe we can just chuck it up and see if we can get lucky here. So uh, we get ourselves a really good return with Cooks to the, about the 50-yard line. So I wish I had one more timeout. <laughs> so right here, unfortunately, I get sacked. And I couldn't, he was just rushing three standard and running around me and, and picking up sacks. It was so frustrating, man. But nonetheless, we still have an opportunity to make it a one-score game here. A one-score game. So we hit the counter on the left side, pick up the block, and look at Ingram go. And he can go. Oh, no. Hey, give him the stiffy. Oh, we hit him with the juke, and we get stopped at the six-yard line. Again, we go underneath really quick drag route, but Fleener drops it. Very next play, same thing, man. Feed Fleener. He catches it. We get stopped at the two-yard line. Very big play right here. I'm looking, and who else do we go to? But Fleener. And we score a touchdown. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now a one-score game. We were down 28 to 20. I'm mean, 28 to zero. <coughs> it is now a, a one-score game. So right here, second and eight. Andrew Luck rolls out, throws it, and it's an interception. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. We have an opportunity to tie this game. But then, unfortunately, I make a mistake, a mental error that I should know better. I should know better. Huh. So he drops the pass. Very next play. Look at A. Look at the tight end. Look how open he is. Look how open he is. And I threw a pick. I should know better. Near the end zone, they jump route. They jump that route all the time. Usually, they go on ahead and they continue backing up you know, playing their zone, but they don't do that in the red zone because the end zone's there. There's no more room for them to back up. So they come forward and jump the route. I should know that. And I threw a pick, mental error. Now I see him physically chewing clock, and um, I'm like, well, okay, not yet. I think it's going to be soon. I think, like, maybe after this play or something like that. The chew clock does start very soon. And when I just, it was like I, I seen my, my life flash before my eyes. It's like, oh, no, he's... He's out here chewing clock. It's going to be difficult for us. He chucks it up. I don't even click on. I'm nervous. Thankfully, we get the stop. So third and six right here. This is a very big play. He rolls out. We got the QB spy out there. It's that five. But look at me immediately coming, and we recover. And I'm like, okay, we have another chance, another opportunity for greatness, another chance to go on ahead and tie this game up as we end up hitting the route over the middle. Another wide receiver screen right here with Cooks. And we get a good gain. We get within the red zone. We get stopped at nine yard line. We decide to run the ball and we stumble forward to the four yard line. Fourth quarter is here. We run the ball again. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, it is a tie game. He goes on a 28 0 run. I go on a 28 0 run. And now the tie, the game is tied. And now, okay, this is definitely where he starts showing clock. So now I'm nervous, right? I shut him down this entire half. But now he all of a sudden. He just start throwing dots. Now, all of a sudden, I just can't stop the damn guy. Uh, we recommit there. Thankfully, we were right. Third and three, and he's killing me with these slants. I'm trying to press. I'm shading inside. They don't have the personnel to cover as good as I need them to. They're struggling with the coverage. And it's a bubble, but he recovers. Third and eight right here. We're looking. We're looking. He runs up. Thankfully, our guy got back up because he was about to be gone. 40-yard line, fourth and seven. He's going to risk it all by going for it. And he picks up the first down. I got to let time drip. I got all three of my timeouts remaining. But thankfully, I mean, he went out of bounds. Right there, He instead of scoring, he decides to dive down. And then he starts taking knees. So I got to start calling all my timeouts. I am left with only 26 seconds remaining. I need a miracle for me to come back and win this game or tie this game. Oh, my goodness. We decided to take it out right here, seeing if I can get lucky. Unfortunately, we don't. So right here, I back up, and I'm looking at my options. I know Cook on the left has 96 speed. I'm hoping somehow he gets behind the secondary. Look at look at the spin move on the right side. He gets free, and then I get nervous. I see him coming towards me. I step up in the pocket. I chuck it up to Cooks, hoping for a prayer. If he catches this, there's plenty of time for me to go on ahead and kick a field goal. But he's not going to catch He comes down with it. The young fella comes down with it. And it gives me the opportunity to kick a game-tying field goal. It's overtime. I win the coin toss. I get the ball. I run the counter. And there's plenty of space. And he can't go.
go on the way as he eats the net set. As we end up winning in overtime. If that wasn't the best game you've seen in Madden 17 this year. My Lord. What an unbelievable game. Down 28 to 0. We come back and win. And he was a top 500 player. My Goonie Goo Goo. What a game.